what I'd like to see is people um, being, you know, engaging, engaging in, in what is happening. So how, how would it look practically? Um, I'd like to potentially run a series of workshops or events or nights where we all come together, we discuss certain issues. I obviously come from the background of displacement and the mass movement of people, but I'm also looking for other uh, people who are involved in the humanitarian sector. We can all come together and discuss, you know, what skill sets do we have? Um, what trainings do we um, would we like to see because we can also bring uh, training here to Gibraltar and, and you know incorporate that in, in, into society and um, so yeah you know bringing people together opening a dialogue and allowing people to, ha to, to step into, in, into what I've been doing in the last few years. We've seen this summer that migrant arrivals to Spain by sea have increased an issue that's touched Gibraltar directly so more urgent than ever? Yeah, so obviously that's, that was always inevitable and we've spoken about that in the past and it probably will increase uh, even more in the future. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. I would just say, you know, that we need to be prepared. We need to be prepared psychologically. We need to be prepared, um, you know, more practical sense. I hope the government starts taking steps to dealing with uh, these situations in a far more sustainable and human way. Um, you know, there are many people with experience out there that are able to help in this situation. So. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's create a dialogue for that and let's see how it goes. What facilities and skills would you like to see Gibraltar have to deal with this situation? Okay, I think it's really important that, that you know, we get the message out there that we can have a positive response to this. It doesn't have to be a negative response. You know, um, planning, um, you know, doing some trainings and working together with the community, maybe a civilian response to help the services if, if they are stretched, if it does increase. Um, yeah, you know, we can implement these kind of things together as a community and have some ownership of it and hopefully in the future any migrant issues that we might have in Gibraltar we'll deal with as a community and we can take pride in dealing with a response in a humane way rather than criminalising uh, the situation, you know, we, we've got the ability to do that, the resources are there and we just need to get together, put our heads together and, and get it done.